But I think at this point we can undoubtedly say that the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 release three years ago, by the way, that's a long time already, isn't it? Definitely changed the world of flight simulation. You know, never before I've seen actually my friends who don't even like planes that much download the simulator on their PC or Xbox. Never before has a flight simulator reached that many people. It really counts as one of the most significant game releases over the past. 10 years, I think. The Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 definitely, I mean, even the Pope probably plays it. Maybe Joe Biden too or something. Yes, everyone plays that flight simulator. But everybody, Xbox kind of broke the internet yesterday announcing a new one, the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And then everyone is like, what, what the hell? Swiss, please make a video on this. The good thing is I actually have not watched the announced trailer at all. And this video kind of serves as a first reaction and perhaps we could figure out what on the deal about all of this is so let's maybe watch the announced trailer indeed let's do this we might just want to get rid of the subtitles because it's probably just going to be music okay all right let's take a bit of a look here now the next generation of microsoft flight simulator pursue your dream of career in aviation hmm so maybe this one will be a bit more mission based what did we just see hold on there's a fire that's a very contemporary topic indeed fire in hollywood do you know it's funny that my last video was about an add-on that's supposed to add wildfires but this truly looks amazing let's take a look at the next one yeah okay more fire the cl uh what is that the 250 i think funny that i only recently saw this in mallorca And oh, what is that? There's so much happening. Hold on, I'm trying to comprehend this. So what's happening right now is a search and rescue mission. That's kind of a new thing as well on the Microsoft Flight Simulator with helicopters and with a little G-Class that crashed and we have proper animation. Oh, an oil rig, we've not seen that before. You can probably land your helicopter on that one. Yeah, okay, so this is a new thing. People, you know, proper people added in that walk. Oh yeah, this is cool. All right, this is very helicopter based. Oh, this looks cool as well. Ambulance. Okay, more animations. Mm-hmm, a little crop plane. That is so cool. Crop plane mission. All right. And of course, another rescue mission here, mountain rescue. That is really cool. Skydiving. Okay. Oh, and some more. That is so cool. Check out this one. Oh, and the Erebus Beluga, the big one, the XL. Really cool. So again, another mission here, industrial cargo transport. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, and Antarctica, the A400M from Airbus. You know, we do have an add-on for that for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. That one is quite all right, but that's really great. Okay, first class wings, V. VIP charter service. Hold on. I remember this place. This is, of course, the St. Bartholomew Airport, isn't it? Yes, we went here <clears throat> only recently. That's cool. So you can see many people now. You can see animations. We've got, okay, in good old air race. Cool. Oh, oh my God. What is that? What is that? What in the matrix? So glider, we do already have gliders here. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. And a proper tornado here. Scientific research. Okay. That seems to be the special DA-62 by Diamond. This plane has like a radar and like cameras for tornado track and all that cool stuff. That's really nice. Okay. Experimental flight. Okay. Oh, L A 10 Cirrus. We've got a built-in Cirrus. Executive transport service and an airship tour. We got a proper blimp and Africa with hot air balloons. That is really cool. The sky is calling. Already, that is a lot of things announced here for the 2024 Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thank you for FS Elite for actually kind of summarizing all of this, all the things that are added. Basically, it's all missions if you think about it. Search and rescue, area referral, firefighting. Can speak. Helicopter cargo, that is really cool. Ambulance, all, all the cool stuff. Some of the things that are mentioned here we already have for this flight simulator or for X-Plane. Like the skydiving, I've made a video on that. Uh, or uh, the hot air balloon, even that is for the flight simulator. Of course, things like rescue and the whole firefighting thing, we already also have that as add-ons. Most of the things won't really change the world, but are now going to be vanilla and they're going to look really great. I mean, check out this one. You know, this is interesting. 
interesting. They're definitely trying to focus more on, you know, the fun stuff, the cool stuff. And this will get people even from, from outside the aviation to kind of join in interesting challenges, which is a really, really good idea. Now, of course, again, the Flight Simulator is coming in 2024 and lots of things are not announced yet. We don't really know what this is going to be like. Is it going to be a whole new Flight Simulator, a whole new separated app? Is it going to be, you know, just a kind of an upgrade for the current Microsoft Flight Simulator? How about all the thousands of add-ons that have been released? The aircraft, are they going to be very much functional in the new one? You know, the cross compatibility. Those are very interesting questions that we don't have answers for yet. This is after all just a little teaser to get us hyped, a little surprise. Perhaps in the Flight Sim Expo, you know, next week in Houston, which I, you know, sadly won't be able to attend, perhaps they'll be covering more information, probably with some demos here. Maybe they'll let people, you know, do the search and rescue mission or uh, fly the Airbus Beluga XL. You know, most of these new features kind of only sound like updates, new missions, new aircraft, new scenery. Is it going to have a new UI or something? Those are very unanswered questions that no one knows right now. I mean, they're calling it the next generation of the legendary franchise. So, you know, a next thing. I mean, people seem to be very hot at discussing this, you know, the 10 years Microsoft Flight Simulator would be supported when Spy surprisingly passed. People say, so kind of like the premise of, oh, okay, what's going to happen to the cloud streaming of the scenery? You know, is the old Microsoft Flight Simulator just not going to be supported anymore? What's going to happen? Do you have to pay more money? I hope they expand the map. Last one was too small. That was a good one. I only expect this to be like a proper update, a proper upgrade to the old one that maybe costs a little bit of money to upgrade. But I think, you know, all the aircraft will still work. I mean, it's only been four years ever since, you know, the Flight Simulator came out, the 2020. And I mean, if we compare FSX to Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're talking 16 years. I don't think it's possible at all for Microsoft to just release a whole new game within four years. This has to be mostly based of the good old Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I expect this to be a little bit of an expansion pack, or at least I hope so. I mean, definitely the community would be very, very mad. I think Microsoft would make a devastating mistake by, you know, dropping support of all the old planes. You know, after buying so many add-ons for FS2020, now this, let's hope my 737 PMDG will be transferable. If not, I ain't buying this. And I think that's a good take. I mean, it's not only about spending the money on new add-ons. It's about, you know, it taking another two years then after release of that new one to recode all these add-ons. But, you know, again, I don't think will happen. I mean, what this upgrade reminds most people of is the Microsoft Flight Simulator X Acceleration Expansion Pack, which came out, you know, a year after the initial FSX. And this one made the whole Flight Simulator a whole lot better with, you know, also cool stuff, carriers, air races, all the stuff. So, you know, perhaps it's just going to be a big expansion pack indeed. I think what they're doing is modernizing this flight simulator and building up on it right now. I mean, that's what they've been doing for the past years. I mean, seriously, there's new trailers coming out every week or so. There's a Dune expansion announced trailer. So, you know, this movie called Dunes and stuff coming out in November. Check out this plane. That's not a normal Microsoft flight simulator 2020 plane. Where does this plane? It could be Jordan, actually, you know, the country. But, uh, you know, I, again, what? It, that it looks like Mars or something. That's really cool. And that's a really cool plane that I cannot wait to, of course, check out for the flight simulator as well when it comes out in November. Again, I really don't believe, you know, that they're going to drop Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. They won't. And check this out. This looks, this could literally be a scene of a new add-on for the Flight Simulator. And this is exactly what LA looks like, you know, in the 2020. So, yeah. Everybody, the 2024. Definitely one of the most surprising announced trailers. Let's maybe wait for FS Expo and find out more. And everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ash. Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knotts Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.